Hi, I'm Madison from Vibe. In this video, we'll walk through some feature highlights for the new Vibe S1 Smartboard. Click on the video timestamps below to navigate to your section or feature of interest. So let's start with whiteboarding. We'll go to the Vibe Canvas app, go to the pen icon, and choose the drawing tool we're looking for. We can change the weight and colors of each pen and save our most used customized pens right here for future use. The Vibe Stylus offers an incredibly smooth writing and drawing experience, just like writing on paper. To erase, we can either tap the Erase button here on the stylus to switch to the eraser tool, or we can select it from the toolbar. Bad handwriting? No worries. Vibe Smart Text feature quickly converts handwriting to text on Vibe boards or in our tablet app. Just write, press and hold on the handwriting with your finger, and voila! My chicken scratch is converted into legible text. We can edit the text from here using our keyboard tool. Similarly, we can transform sketches into standard shapes and sticky notes. I just draw a shape, hold the stylus at the end of our drawing, and the board does all the work. We can also easily import images and files directly into the canvas. If we tap the plus sign icon on the toolbar, we can search for and import an image from Google. Vibe's touch-optimized whiteboard allows us to move and adjust with my hands instead of slouching in front of a computer all day. If we tap on the next option, Files, you can see five ways to get content from multiple cloud drives into your Vibe Canvas. The last tab lets us import pre-built templates to the canvas to make things a little easier. We can choose from one of Vibe's ready-to-go templates and tap Insert to get started. You can also create your own unique templates. We never have to worry about losing our train of thought because Vibe automatically saves all our work in the cloud. The Canvas app also works on tablets, mobile, and desktop, so we can kick off an idea on the smart board, then save, share, and edit on the go. No matter how you collaborate with your team and clients in a hybrid or remote setting, Vibe makes sharing easy. To share a Canvas, let's tap the Invite button on the top right. From there, we can choose from several sharing options, email, link, a canvas, or QR code. With your entire team collaborating on one canvas simultaneously, Vibe ensures that everyone is on the same page. Let's try sending via email. We can enter text with the on-screen keyboard or by using an external Bluetooth keyboard. Let's try sending this content to my colleague, Matt. We can type in his name using the keypad like this. Vibe reinvents how information is shared after a meeting. Facilitators can distribute meeting notes to participants quickly and effortlessly. Next, let's see how to start remote meetings. Vibe supports all video conferencing apps, like Zoom, Google Meet, Teams, and more. Vibe values your privacy. First, we can start a private session using various single sign-on logins, or easily use the Vibe One app to scan a QR code to sign in and keep our ideas private and secure. Then we can start a meeting with a single click on our personal calendar. Let's try Google Meet. We'll be seen and heard with our SmartCam C1. We can share the screen just as we would on any normal laptop. Vibe also has a split screen feature. Tap on the overview button, then using your stylus, long press and drag the app to one side of the screen, then select another app for the other. From there, you can adjust your view. We can choose from any combination of apps to boost our productivity during work sessions or remote meetings. Next, we'll talk about presenting and casting. We can screencast to Vibe a few ways. We can AirPlay, use Vibe's screencasting option from any browser, and more. You can see the casting guide right here on the home screen. Let's try the Vibe cast here. First, we'll make sure our laptop and Vibe are connected to the same network. We don't have to download any apps, just open a Chrome browser and go to cast.vibe.us and find our device to start screencasting. To screencast from my iPhone, we can use AirPlay. Similarly, connect to the same Wi-Fi network and tap AirPlay. Choose the appropriate S1 board, and now we're casting from iPhone to Vibe via AirPlay. We can also use the Vibe One app to drop photos, websites, and files from our phone to the Vibe smart board. HDMI is a great option when we're not able to wirelessly cast from our device. Let's try it out. 
We can use an HDMI cable to connect our computer to the HDMI in port located at the back of the board. An HDMI icon will show up on our launch bar on the bottom right. We can tap this icon to display content from our computer. To exit HDMI mode, we can tap the power button on the back of the board to bring up the Vibe screen again. With Vibe's annotation feature, we can annotate anything from a screencast to any third-party application. We can see the pen-shaped annotation button on the status bar in the bottom right corner. If we tap that button to start our annotation, a new toolbar on the side will pop up with annotation tools that we can use. When we're done annotating, I can either exit or take a screenshot that's saved in our holding space. The Screen Recorder is a useful built-in tool that we can use to take a screenshot or record the work session. Open the Quick Settings panel and then select Screen Capture. The Screen Capture toolbar will appear at the bottom of the screen. We can take a screenshot or recording by switching between the camera and video camera icon. Click the gear icon, and here you can choose to record audio through a microphone during the screen recording. The screenshot or video recording is also saved in the download tray for later sharing, making it easy to share recorded training sessions or lessons for asynchronous collaboration. Vibe supports a variety of apps to help companies collaborate, like Google, Microsoft, and other ecosystems at no extra cost. Simply open the Vibe App Store, choose or search for your favorite apps, and click the Get button, and there you go. If we want to rearrange or delete downloaded apps, we can long press on the app and choose the desired action. We can also personalize our Vibe. Open Settings and on the left, click Personalization. Let's go to Wallpaper and choose a custom wallpaper for our meeting room, home office, or school. Pick from one of our selection or upload your own. Let's select the image we like and confirm. When we finish our work on Vibe, we can keep our data even more secure by logging out with a single touch. Vibe will close all browser windows and sign out from all third-party applications. Left the office and forgot to log out? No problem. We can set our Vibe to automatically end a private session after a period of inactivity or use the Vibe One app to remotely log out. That's just a quick overview of the features you will enjoy with the all-in-one Vibe Smartboard S1. You can find all the support resources below if you have any questions. Thank you for joining us today.